Though the president has no powers to intervene in criminal prosecution, he's mandated to exercise his prerogative mercy to pardon some prisoners, although the president exercised his rights years ago. Due to pending information, many prisoners have since remained locked up in her visit to Lizira and Kigo prisons. The Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, interfaced with the prisoners who narrated their different challenges ranging from delayed trials, arrests after release, rejection of appeals, and congestion. You are aware that we are prisoners. We virtually have nothing, but God has it for us. Speaker Kadaga then learned that the prerogative mercy had not been executed, an issue she promised to address by writing to the president and the legal committee of parliament. This people appeal after 14 days of conviction. I sign and I send those appeal. They get, even get the appeal numbers. But I've released very many without going for appeal. It is very painful. I get production warrants to call the inmates that I released. When they are calling him in court, yet he has finished serving the sentence of imprisonment. We request that you help them. Above all these are Ugandans. And I also have been told about the prerogative of mercy, which has not been exercised for some time. I'm also going to inform the president about it and see how we can move on that process. While handing over sorted Christmas gifts to inmates, female inmates asked the speaker to help them get a labor ward to relieve them of the hardships of giving birth. <laughs> support to get a maternity facility here or at least a sick bay. The prerogative of MASA is an executive process that comes after the judiciary has concluded its duties. It mandates the president to exercise his powers to pardon some prisoners under streamlined procedures. In 2009, Obote's former internal affairs minister Chris Rakasisi, the former governor of central province during a means regime Abdul Nasul, who were all on death row in Luzira Upper Prison, were released on prerogative pardon. The last presidential pardon was in 2012, where Shema Kuki was released after spending 12 years behind bars at Luzira Maximum Security Prison for torturing and killing his wife, Renu Joshi. Susan Naonga, reporting. Thank you. Thank you.